I'm Morgan, and today we're reading in Luke chapter 1, verses 46 through 56. And it reads, And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, because he has looked with favor on the humble condition of his servants. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed, because the Mighty One has done great things for me, and his name is Holy. His mercy is from generation to generation on those who fear him. He has done a mighty deed with his arm. He has scattered the proud. Because of the thoughts of their hearts, he has toppled the mighty from their thrones and exalted the lowly. He has satisfied the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has held the servant Israel, remembering his mercy to Abraham and his descendants forever, just as he spoke to our ancestors. And Mary stayed with her about three months, then she returned to her home. One of my biggest takeaways from Mary's song is that we are called to live for the Lord every day, staying joyful in His promises because of how great they are. How And Mary continues to say how powerful the Lord is, but that He shows us so much mercy every day, even though we are so undeserving. Mary teaches us that especially during hard times and the struggles of our lives to praise and rejoice in the Lord, always having faith in His plans for us, knowing how great they are. And I'll just pray for us. Dear Lord, thank you so much for bringing us all here today. And thank you so much for all the amazing and great promises you can do. I just pray that even during our darkest and hardest times, that you show us who you truly are and show your promises and how great they are. And that we continue to have faith in you and just know how great of a Lord you are. Amen. Amen.